بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على المبعوث رحمة للعالمين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه والتابعين ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين وبعد Why did Allah decide that he wants to create other creatures? He created the dogs and the pigs and the monkeys. He created the mountains and the seas and the oceans. He created the birds. He created the ants and the insects, the reptiles. He created that which may be considered harmful to mankind and that which may be considered beneficial. He created the lion and the leopard. He created all these creatures and not only did he create them, but at the time of the prophet Noah, when he was instructed to build the ark, he was instructed together with mankind to take with him two of all the other creatures that the Almighty had made. So Allah wanted to preserve these creatures. From among them, there are those that are harmful to us. We are scared of them. If we had to see a loose lion, wild, running here right now, we would all perhaps try to rush out of this place, causing a stampede, helter-skelter. Everybody's out because there is a lion. This is not its place. But we will pay money to see the same lion in a different place. We will pay. And behind a fence, we will even tease the lion. We will make a face, make a sound. And we are warned, don't do that. But this is what we do. So we end up looking at these animals that would have been harmful with the eye of goodness and even the eye of love. How many of us have seen a lion or a lioness or a cub and we say, wow, how cute, how nice. Ooh. How beautiful, what a sight. Quickly take a picture, take a picture. We say that, don't we? But that's a lion. We are taught that the life that was given to that lion was given by the same giver of your life. Don't forget that. Whoever gave you life, gave that lion the life. We forget that. Subhanallah. So the Almighty created all these creatures. If he wanted, he didn't need to do that. He could have just made mankind. That's it. But Allah says, no. I want you to understand that I am the giver of life. I will give life to whomsoever I wish and to whatsoever I want to give life to. I have given life to the animals. I've given life even to the plants. We see the plantation here. Who is the giver of the life? It's Allah. And this is why we are Muslims. We are taught that you cannot take the life away of the animals in a destructive way. No, I cannot just say, okay, I'm going to shoot all the lions. No, as a Muslim, you're not allowed to do that. Yes, if it was harming you, it came for you, it was attacking you, you have the right to defend yourself. Perhaps you might even take its life away at that juncture, but there was a need for it and you did it in the most humane way. It was unavoidable. That is to do with an animal. The Almighty has asked us to be respectful towards the creatures that He has given life to. You respect the animals. You know, you and I have been taught that there are certain foods that you will eat and certain foods you will not eat. Well, it would have been easy for you and I to say, well, why did Allah make that if He did not want me to consume it? Who told you that everything he makes should be consumed? Who told you that? He makes certain things because he doesn't want you to consume it. And he wants to see if you have within you the love for the Almighty who is the giver of the life enough to respect the life of that which you're not going to be consuming. It's a very deep statement. I'm not allowed to eat, for example, a pig as a Muslim flesh of a swine, for example. I'm not allowed to consume pork. Does that give me the right to go around harming pigs, throwing stones at them, 
shooting them and just getting happy and laughing. Not at all. The hadith says, "Fi kulli kabidin ratbatin ajrun." Do you know every animal that you are kind to, you reach out to, everything that has a liver, everything that has been given life by the Almighty, if you are kind to it, reach out to it in a positive way, you will earn a reward. So if you are destructive towards it, you will earn a sin. If you go around just taking a gun and shooting the monkeys that are all around, because that's it, you're enjoying shooting monkeys, you're not a good Muslim. You have insulted the giver of the life of those monkeys. Allah gave the life. Remind yourselves and myself, if you want love to be promoted, the beginning of it is to ask yourself, who am I? And who are the rest of the people around me? And what is the rest of the creation? What's my connection with it?